Good morning, or afternoon even, and welcome back to Adventures. You can just hear the Colorado mine train flying over me now because today we are at Fantasialand. Now, apologies in advance if I butcher any place name or ride name because not only am I a bit of an uncultured swine, I'm also from deep in the heart of Yorkshire and we still struggle with the Queen's English, let alone other languages. But it's really, really good to be here at Fantasialand in Brull, which opened back in 1967. This park itself attracts 2 million visitors each year and is often voted as one of the world's best theme parks. It's not hard to see why either. It's got around 32 attractions, unfortunately, which a boatload of them are closed today. But there's eight roller coasters and four water rides. And one of the things that they're actually known for here is their incredibly high level of eye-catching theming. And I can't tell you how good it all looks here. Everywhere you turn, there's just something to look at. It is stunning. And they really have done a lot considering just how little there is to work with here. I mean, the whole park only measures 69 acres, which, for my fellow Englanders, for comparison, Alton Towers is, I think, about 550 acres, meaning you could fit Fantasialand inside Alton Towers just shy of eight times, which really just goes to prove it's not always size that matters, it's what you do with it. directly under the loop on Black Mamba. If you could do that on Nemesis, it would be fantastic. Again, it's just a shame that Black Mamba is currently down, which is uh, an ongoing theme at this very moment in time. There's no particular bad weather, so I'm not entirely sure why. So we are now deep in the heart of Africa. Not just the tip, deep in the heart. And just as we've been walking round, Black Mamba has come back up. So we may have to go and try and get a ride. So, here's yet another ride that is down and hasn't been working all day. Talican. It's really. When people are paying so much to get in, it's not really great to have so many of these rides down. But, when that is working, what a stunning ride. Project Ocean, anyone? You've got a double-decker carousel. Eat your heart out, Disney. I don't know where to look. Yeah. so much I even got steam coming out of the grates but you've just been on what? a log flume a log flume do we know what we're called? river rapids the river rapids log flume and what did you think? it was good it was good? apart from the fact that I'm absolutely soaked now are you soaked? yeah what was the theming like? it was well good well good yeah Whereas we have just come off mouse or chocolate, we split up so we could go in it. It, it seemed like it was going to be quite a long queue. It were advertised at 45 minutes, which was a bit too much for Henry to wait. So me and Lucy went on it, but firstly, good things. The ride itself is absolutely phenomenal. The theming on the inside of it is brilliant. It's easily better than Ratatouille at Disney. The only problem is that the operations were absolutely terrible. Advertised at a 45 minute wait and it was actually closer to an hour and a half and just as we got to the ride as well it went down which it was just a terrible terrible long time to wait and there were no communication to let you know either that the ride was down temporarily just the music stopped everything stopped playing uh, but once we got on it 
what a ride easily easily better than anywhere at Disney the theming in this place I'd say is better than any Disney park on par with Universal and you can't come to this place without coming to the gift shop Mises. It's got that very uh, Animal Kingdom vibe in here, hasn't it? But look at that. Even the theming in the shop's on point. There he goes. This is why you bring your parents with you. Because they get to do all the crappy wet rides. Thanks, Mum. It's this kind of detailing which I love as well. Just a simple swing, yet it's such a centrepiece of this area because of the fountains around it that are interactive with the ride itself. It's brilliant. exactly what our look is like at the minute so I believe Henry and Lucy have just about got to the front of the queue for fly and it seems to have gone down story of our day well it's been a disappointing end to an otherwise fantastic day here at Fantasialand or Fantasialand someone just tell me how the hell you say it so the park itself is absolutely stunning the theming is on point definitely universal level theming everywhere every little detail is just beautiful there's nothing that i haven't thought of every queue line every corner every street just looks fantastic but today has just been killed by crap operations and really really sort of reliability pardon my French there but um, you saw earlier that we obviously went on um, mouse whatever it's called um, and that went down multiple times black mamba's been up and down all day um, chip pass has been down for the entire of the day and then we've just gone on to fly we've queued nearly two hours for fly only for that to go down at the very end as well so there was no way of actually getting on to to fly for so many rides almost all of the rides here down at some point today um, and not just once or twice up and down and up and down it really has been terrible for operations so quite a disappointing day in terms of our day here but the park itself you can't fault just how fantastic it actually looks it's a stunning park it's got some fantastic rides I've absolutely loved being here just to walk around it it's just a shame that obviously to drive the two and a half hours to get here from where we're staying to then pay all of that money for the four of us to get in to then not be able to really ride anything during the day it's not great at all but we will come here again hopefully we'll get a day where the operations and the reliability is a lot better but yeah bit of a disappointing one that so hopefully tomorrow at Toverland and Saturday at Efteling fingers crossed they're actually going to be spot on and brilliant but until then give us a like give us a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one bye